my team. Hello, we are the real little team. I am Ming Song Choi, and this is our team leader, Jung Hee Min. We are from Korea. This is our first time participating in the last two line entry new travel category. Earlier this year, we won on award in the last two line basic new travel category at the 2025 Korea Robo Cup, which gave us the opportunity to complete in the Asia Pacific Robo Cup. The category we are participating in is Rescue Line and Tribute Turn. Our mission is to follow the black line and avoid the obstacles. To achieve this, we use P-Control. We, with P-Control, we successfully solve the line following problem and using an ultrasonic sensor, our robot can detect and avoid the obstacles, it can also navigate the slopes effectively. Next, the robot design. Speaking about our robot design, we have two robots. First, for the sensors, we have two color sensors, which can detect the line and the color green. Second, we have an ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacles. Finally, we have two motors that drive the gears. Next, let's talk about our software design. Our program uses P-Control, which is the P part of the PID control method. The P stands for proportion. This uses neglected light to follow the line. The principle is simple. If the robot drifts slightly to the right of the line, it turns slightly back. If it is a lot, it turns more. To calculate this, we take the left reflected light value minus the right reflected light value. It can be the oxide depending on the setup and multiply it by Kp. Kp can be any number, but if the value is too large to work, the robot may not move smoothly. The advantage of P-Control is that the robot calculates and adjusts automatically making line follow much easier. Next is the fuel chart. First, the robot starts where we set the movement speed and assign the motors. Using P control, the robot follows the line. If all color sensors detect black, the robot will slightly straight. If the right color sensor detects green, the robot turns right. If the robot detects an obstacle, then avoid it. If the left color sensor detects green, the robot turns left. If the right color sensor detects green, the robot turns right. If the roll angle is greater than 20 degrees, the speed increases. The first, the first. We try the line following using low sensor values, but it often didn't work well. So we switched to P control. We P control if the robot drifts slightly to the right, it adjusts slightly to the left. We use the control sensor for color. Low values for low data and reflect reflected like for P control, the calculation is simple. Subtract the right reflected right from the left and multiply by Kp, which can be any value like 1, 1.1, or 0.9. For hardware, at first we only have the hub and distance sensor on top, which made climbing Close difficult and descending risky. By adding a few blocks on top, we balance 
the robot, allowing it to climb and descending smoothly. In this slide, we are presenting the AI tools we used. We used ChatGPT, which helped us to translate our native language into English efficiently. At first, we weren't very skilled in using it, but with guidance from our coach, we were able to overcome the challenges. Thanks to ChatGPT, we completed our work quickly and improved our team, making the process much smoother. I would like to recommend this category to other juniors. The reason is that it is easy and does not require much programming, so it is suitable for juniors who find coding difficult. Also, while it might be a bit challenging for those encountering coding for the first time, I believe it is useful and enjoyable for juniors who already have some coding experience allowing them to complete the mission successfully and have fun.